Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 1st to the to the 7th of March. I nearly forgot my dates. 1st to the 7th of March 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Virgo and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. Now I'm going to choose the cards because unless they fall out because uh, they're quite chunky this deck. <laughs> Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you for the week. Message for Virgo. Okay. We have the, the uh, King of Cups, Scorpio. So we have trustworthy, honourable, devoted, cautious, Someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeking, seeing a counsellor. Okay, so some of you may well time with that energy there. So we have the King of Cups as your overarching energy. It's interesting that just flipped out, so let's go with that one. We have the Daughter Romance here. And angels, what is the message for our lovely Virgos? Thank you. And remember the king is male or female energy. It is a general reading. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Virgo for the week. <laughs> We've got perfect timing. I mean, this is lovely. And we have choose a new direction. Okay, Virgo, so I'm going to pull three cards. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guide message for Virgo, 1st to the 7th of March 2021. And remember, it won't resonate with everybody, Virgo, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Virgo for the week, please. Angels Spirits Guides. Message for Virgo for the week, thank you. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands, which is a challenge. Advice from Spirit. We have the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Again, very much tying in with this Cups theme. And your outcome, we have the Page of Cups. Okay. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides. Message for Virgo, thank you. Message for Virgo. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. So we have the Seven of Wands with the Page of Wands. Look, oh my goodness, Virgo. <laughs> we have the Ace of Wands there. And the Page of Cups is clarified with the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Death card. Okay. Let's clarify this death card. Let's clarify this death card. I mean, it feels nice in this context. Let's clarify. Okay, so I have the Ten of Swords. Okay. So Virgo, we have the Daughter Romance. I mean, look at this card. It is a new beginning and we have 33, which is number three is a magical master number. Um, divinely guided, divinely orchestrated. I mean, do read about the number three. It's beautiful energy. Um, the, the Daughter Romance is a new beginning. The door is opening in terms of love, romance, relationships. Yeah. Definitely getting that energy. It feels so positive. The message is there will be perfect timing. For some of you, I mean, I've got a Scorpio, two cards of Scorpio here. So there's definitely an energy here. You might be dealing with a Scorpio this week. I've also got Aquarius, Pisces. That might be somebody who has those signs or part of your sign. The 
challenge position we have the page of wands and the seven of wands there's definitely this kind of energy There's definitely this kind of energy, Virgo, that someone sees the possibility, somebody sees potential and wants to make this new beginning happen. I mean, there is passion, there is desire here, there is real, they see potential, but it's almost kind of like they are challenged in doing something about it. They have hidden feelings. I definitely get this energy of hidden feelings for you and I'm definitely getting this energy of may well be a little bit overwhelmed by their feelings but it, it might also be Virgo that they're seeing this great possibility but they're keeping their thoughts, their desires to themselves and they're trying to overcome the fear. It definitely feels like they're trying to overcome the fear to talk to you. Now this can also be vice versa. You might be thinking that about somebody who is a love interest. It definitely feels in terms of love, romance, relationships, a new love with the cards on the table. So Spirit is saying it's going to happen. The new door is going to open. But the Ace of Wands requires you to take action, do something about it to open this door. It's a card of action. Um, there will be an opportunity, a moment, perfect timing divinely orchestrated <laughs> this is divinely orchestrated part of destiny where you will or they will be able to express their feelings so it's going to happen but it's almost kind of like there's real potential here i definitely get this energy of somebody is trying to overcome the fear um, or to do something about their feelings and act on them but it's, it's almost kind of like they're fighting against themselves in some way, you know? It, it could well be fear of rejection, that kind of energy. But there's definitely an energy of the new beginning. It's going to happen. I mean, this is an offer of love. This is about somebody being romantic, expressing their truth to you. So I definitely get this energy of, or you to them. It will happen. The timing will be perfect. Um, so watch out for that. Be aware for that. Choose your opportunity wisely to broach and open this new door. Because there's definitely this energy with the Page of Cups is can be in terms of an offer of love or a message of love or the beginnings of a door opening in terms of love. Um, Essentially, the Page of Cups is that message of love, news of love, expression of love, the very beginnings of it. And that King of Swords is truth. The truth will be revealed in terms of how you feel about somebody or how they feel about you. Things will become clear. So it, it feels very beautiful here, Virgo. It really does. Now, this death card, like I said, it could have been with a Scorpio. But the death card uh, marks the ending of one phase, the beginnings of another in some respects. It's out with the old, in with the new. So this Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords energy can be about hurt or baggage that you might be carrying or they might be carrying that might be what's getting in the way of this it's a 10 i mean it can be to do with pain and betrayal loss uh, deep wounds but it's a 10 which is a completion so whatever this pain was the pain is over and that's what you're being told whatever this pain was that you've been dealing with I'm definitely getting this energy of now it's time to emerge once more in a new light, release old baggage, which doesn't serve you anymore when death appears. It is a cathartic energy of cleansing, purification, out with the old, in with the new. So there's definitely an energy of the new wants to come into your life. There could be some block here, what is blocking you, what is challenging you or challenging them. 
but I definitely feel for some of you a new direction, a new possibility is opening to you. There's definitely this energy of hidden feelings um, and I feel that that's going to come to the surface here. Things are going to become clear in terms of how somebody feels about you. But it's almost like the pain, this pain, whatever this, this is, uh, it feels like you have an opportunity to end it, cleanse it, purify it once and for all, and emerge like the phoenix, rising from the ashes, revealing the new, you know? So definitely this energy of out with the old, in with a new, shed an old skin, because there's definitely an energy of something wonderful wants to come in here. Yeah. Now, yeah, I definitely feel it feels more like new. Feels more like new. It just feels that new door, new door manifesting a new, a new, a new love, a new romantic relationship. Okay. So, final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo. Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. And no, there will be a moment when the timing is perfect. So just watch out for that. Okay. We have tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Very nice energy, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.